everyone welcome back to joy joy beauty welcome back if it's your first time here you are highly highly welcome in today's video i have another makeup look blue eyeshadow and nude lips this makeup is so so beautiful you can see how the eyes is popping beautiful so if you want to see how i achieve this look please keep watching if you're new here you've not subscribed please subscribe Turn on your notification bell so that whenever I upload, you will not miss it. And do not forget to press the like button and leave me a comment down there. I would love to read your comments. My face are clean. I just had my shower, so moisturized and clean. So the first thing I'm going to do is to do my eyebrow. With a dark brown pencil, I'm going to use it to line my eyebrow, then fill it in. And I'm going to be using a light hand with that. Gently fill it in and as you can see my eyebrow is so bushy I don't know why I have a thick eyebrow and it's a bit coily my hair is not coily but my eyebrow is coily My the hair in my eyebrow is coily so I'm just going to fill it in <laughs> with a pencil and I'm using a light hand Then after that what I'm going to do is to use a spoolie and brush it So I'm using this pulley to brush it and also using a light hand as you want to be light with this if not this pulley is going to pick up all the pencil that you apply there with the angle brush I'm going to take NC45 by MAC concealer to clean the outer corner of my eyebrow as you can see that concealer is my skin tone so after that I'm going to go in with NC42 concealer by MAC to clean the rest of my eyebrow with an angle brush I'm going to lightly clean it up and define the eyebrow so I'm going to do the other eyes with the same NC42 by MAC clean it up then with the same brush I'm going to gently drag that concealer to my crease it's easier to do it that way so that when you come back to blend it it's going to be easier because if you leave it it's going to dry up so I'm gently dragging it to my crease also using the same brush to blend it so I'm cleaning the top part of my eyebrow and I'm using NC45 mixing it with NC42 concealer by MAC to clean the top part of my eyebrow with the eyebrow I like my eyebrow a little bit bold depending on how you like your eyebrow just follow your eyebrow shape but I like my eyebrow a little bit bold so that's what I'm going for a small brush from Morphe to blend that concealer out and the number of that brush has rub off due to washing so forgive me <laughs> next I'm taking NC42 concealer by MAC and placing it on my eyelid using my hand to blend it out this is going to serve as my eyeshadow base I like using concealer as my eyeshadow base and also I enjoy blending with my hand I'm taking Morphe eyeshadow palette in the number 350M. I'm taking a brown eyeshadow there. With a fluffy brush, I'm going to blend that eyeshadow in my crease as a transition color. And I'm going to be using the back and forth, back and forth motion. And I'm being light with this. If you don't know how to handle the brush, it's best to hold the brush at the end. Then you have more control in terms of blending it with a light hand. I'm still blending the eyeshadow as you can see I'm taking my brush blending it up to the outer corner of my eyes so I'm still going back and forth back and forth trying to blend it until smooth so this is what it's looking like I'm going to do the same in the other eyes and when blending your eyeshadow you have to really take time to do this so you can see that eyes the other eyes I went three times as in I build it three times you don't just want to dump it there Sometimes it's difficult to blend if you're a beginner. Coming back with the same palette, Morphe palette, I'm going to be taking that orange eyeshadow there and tap the excess, place it on top of the transition color that I used before and blend it out with a light hand and all this eyeshadow that I'm using are all matte. You don't want to take it up, you just want to focus on top of it that orange eyeshadow will help it pop you can see what the orange and brown is giving me orange and brown blends really well 
so it's really blending really well you can see what it's looking like I'm doing the same in the other eyes blending it out this step is so important blend 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 in the same palette I'm going to be taking the coffee eyeshadow there is a matte as well this eyeshadow palette is all matte so I'm going to be placing that coffee eyeshadow with a small brush I'm going to place it in the outer corner of my eyes also pack the color there so what I'm going to do is go back and forth back and forth make sure that I pack it there really really well then go in with a black eyeshadow on top of it it's easier to blend a black eyeshadow with a coffee eyeshadow it goes really well blending two of them is easier than going with the black and some black when you blend them out they become patchy but when you go with the coffee eyeshadow first then place the black on top of it it's so easy to blend out so this is a trick if you're a beginner next i'm going to be taking a black eyeshadow from a different palette this palette is from maybelline because that's Morphe eyeshadow palette doesn't have black unfortunately so I'm going to place this on top of the coffee brown eyeshadow as I said you can see how the two of them is marrying each other it's so so easy to blend the black and coffee as I said I'm placing the black eyeshadow at the outer corner of my eyes with the same brush I'm going to gently blend it into my crease blending it in to define the eye the more I'm going back with the black eyeshadow placing it in the outer corner of my eyes I'm going to do the same in the other eyes so you can see what I'm doing the black and the coffee goes really well because some of these black eyeshadow they can mess your eyeshadow look you place it there you blend it and it becomes patchy I just don't like it to go back with the same brush pick this eyeshadow here is it orange but it's this is more darker than this this is more lighter so this is more like a dark orange this fluffy brush I'm going to gently gently blend that and I'm blending it on top of the black eyeshadow that's what I'm doing on top of it I am gently blending it and I'm using a light hand when I'm doing this so I'm doing this on top of the black eyeshadow as I said and I'm gently blending that out then after doing that I'm going to be doing back and forth back and forth back and forth back and forth then I'll turn my brush to the other side I'm not taking anymore I'm just going to blend with what I have so I'm going to take my time and blend this. You want to really take your time when blending. I'm barely touching it. I'm using a light hand. You want to use a light hand with this. So did you see that? Really blended. So I'm going to do the same thing in the other eyes. I'm going to be using this H&M eye pencil it's a royal blue I'm going to use it and apply on my eyelid because I'm going for a blue eyeshadow but this is going to help the eyeshadow pop more but this pencil has dried up so I'm using my hand to apply it it's dried up I've not used it for a long time I tried to use the brush but the brush wasn't picking it <laughs> So I'm going to use my hand, but I wanted to go for a cleaner application. I wanted to go for like a cut crease, but I don't think that's going to happen. I went with a brush trying to see if I'm going to get a cleaner application. Trying to use the brush. I'm using a small brush for this, a small angle brush. On top of it, I'm going to be going with a light blue eyeshadow at the outer corner of my eyes and in the center I'm going to go for a darker blue and these blues that I'm using now so beautiful applying it with a flat brush and I spray my brush with a fix plus to help the application this eyeshadow palette is very pigmented but it has a lot of fallout so to help the application it's best to apply it with a wet brush 
so that's what I'm doing and I'm applying the light eyeshadow in the outer corner of my eyes then go in with the darker one which is the royal blue in the center of my eye eyelid and I'm going to use that brush to clean it a bit so that's what I'm doing and this eyeshadow is applying really smoothly but you have to wet your brush to get a better application and look at that popping blue eyeshadow so I'm going to do the same thing in the other eyes applying the lighter blue at the outer corner then going with the darker blue in the center of my eyelid next I'm going to go back with the blending brush without any eyeshadow on it I'm going to be blending it to avoid any harsh line doing that in the other eyes as well then with a small brush I'm going to take a rose gold eyeshadow place it on my brow bone to highlight my brow bone I'm cleaning my eyes with a face wipe I'm cleaning all the eyeshadow fallout and I'm going to line my eyes with a black eyeliner from collection this eyeliner is so affordable I love it so much it applies really well and it dries really fast and it's £2.99 you can't beat that next I'm applying mascara and I'm applying this mascara by number 7 it's a boot product then apply the duo glue in my lash and these lashes I'm using it for the second time I don't know the name sorry <laughs> I'm going to gently apply my lashes and when I'm applying my lashes I prefer using my hand because I'm a bit shaky I'm scared of tweezer so I'm using my hand to apply my lashes after that I'm going to moisturize this is my second time of moisturizing and I'm applying this moisturizing cream by Avron if you know me I use Avron moisturizing cream <laughs> And I love it. It just makes the skin smooth and it's so gentle. It doesn't have any harsh chemical and I've been using this for years and years so I love it. After that I'm going to be applying primer and I'm applying this primer by Maybelline Baby Skin which is another favorite of mine. It's a silicone primer. I love this primer so so much. It makes your skin smooth and it covers all the pores that's why I love it then I'm going with foundation I'm applying this foundation by Mac I'm using all my favorite today and the shade that I'm using is NC 44.5 I'm going to use a damn beauty sponge and I got that sponge from the range from the range I'm going to use it and blend my foundation and I'm using the dab dab motion dab 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 and blending it out so I'm going to blend that foundation all over my face taking my time making sure that I blend it smoothly you know this step is very important you really need to make sure that your foundation is well blended which is what I am doing after blending the foundation the next thing i'm going to do is to apply my concealer and i'm applying this concealer by elegant pro concealer in the shade medium beige and i'm going to apply it under my eyes apply it under my eyes then apply it in the center of my forehead on top of my nose my cheese on I'm going to apply it all the area where I want the light to hit. After that, I'm going to go in with MAC concealer in the shade NC42. This concealer, I love it so much. I'm going to add it on top of the Ella Girl and blend it out. I don't use it all the time. I save it for when I'm going out. So but I'm using it today <laughs> and this concealer oh my god it can last you for six months to eight months it's a little bit pricey but it goes in, a little goes a long way so if you want to buy this concealer buy it it worth the price I've, I can use one for six to eight months so I'm blending the concealer with the Dawn Beauty blender and I'm taking my time blending it into my skin until it's smooth. You need to take your time with this when blending. So I'm going to blend, 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 blend. 
So after blending this, I'm going to set the concealer. I'm going to set all the area where I apply the concealer. And what I'm using to set it is Ben Eye Banana Powder in the shade Light. And I'm setting all the area where I apply the concealer. Then take a powder brush with NC43.5 by MAC. I'm going to use it to set all the area where I apply the foundation. While I'm using this powder to set my foundation, it's also going to add coverage. And I'm using the dab dab motion, I'm not dragging it. Angle brush, I'm taking NW58 to contour. And I'm using a light hand. I'm barely touching the skin while doing this with this powder because it's so so dark and it's my first time using it so I'm being careful with it so I'm also using it to contour my forehead and with my forehead I didn't add any powder so I'm doing what they call reverse contour I'm trying to clean up that contour a bit and I'm using Ben Eye Banana Powder to do that with a damn beauty blender so next I'm using a black pencil to line my waterline after that I'm going to take a small brush and take that blue eyeshadow that I apply in my eyelid and blend that black eyeliner next I'm contouring my nose with a small brush I'm taking NW45 by MAC powder to contour my nose going with a blush and I'm using that orange blush it has a little bit of shimmer in it I'm going to apply it at the apple of my cheek to blush then highlighter which is my favorite part I'm using this small brush from Morphe and I'm going to apply this revolution highlighter is a gold highlighter and this highlighter is so beautiful and also affordable it's so beautiful so I'm going to apply it on top of my nose forehead all the area where I want to highlight then I'm taking that powder brush to dust out that reverse contour and also blending all my powder I'm trying to blend everything together I don't want to see any demarcation then I'm taking a, a champagne eyeshadow applying it in my tear dot to open my eye the more to line my lips with Kiko lip liner in the number 531 is a brown lip liner after lining my lips on top of it I'm going to be applying this Rimmel lipstick in the name birthday suit is a nude lipstick for gloss I'm going to be using the same Rimmel in the name kiss off is a beautiful peachy gloss and it goes really well with that lipstick i love it to finish up this look i spray a finishing spray which i lost the footage and the finishing spray that i use is from kiko so i wore my wig this is the finished look this is how the makeup turns out blue eyes nude lips yes i love this makeup so so much and i hope you love it too let me know in the comment section if you love the makeup for some of you who are scared of applying blue eyeshadow in your eyes you can see how beautiful it looks on me and it even looks more better on a chocolate skin that's on a dark skin girl it looks more better but this is what is looking on me now with my black wig i'm looking good i'm looking beautiful i love this makeup so so much and i hope you do if this is your first time here in joy joy beauty and you've not subscribed please subscribe turn on your notification bell so that whenever i upload you will not miss it and also follow me on instagram joy joy beauty and lifestyle the link to my instagram is going to be on the description box so check that out and i'm loving my makeup look at that blue eyes nude lips this makeup is so beautiful <laughs> so i'm going to leave you all here i love you all i love you all so so much and i will see you in another one bye bye <laughs>